Imagine this. You're sitting at your computer, juggling five different tabs. One's for research, one's for logging into a platform, another for filling out a form, and you still need to copy all of that into a report. Now, imagine instead of you doing all that, your browser just says, don't worry, I got this, and does it for you. That's the promise of Felu AI, the world's first agentic AI browser. Felu AI browser that doesn't just help you search, it literally takes action on your behalf. I'm going to break down what Felu is, its key features, the brand new Felu CE update, and finally, whether you should try it out. Stick with me till the end, because this is one of the most futuristic AI tools we've seen yet. So let's start from the basics. What exactly is Felu? Unlike Chrome, Edge, or Safari, Felu isn't just a browser with an AI assistant bolted on. It was designed from the ground up to be agentic. And what does that mean? In simple terms, agentic AI doesn't just answer your questions. It acts like an independent agent. It can plan multi-step tasks, execute them step by step, and even remember your context for the future. In other words, instead of you telling the AI, search for this, or summarize that, you can say, book me a slot for this event, grab the details from my email, and draft a LinkedIn post about it. And Felu will actually do it. Now, let's look at some of the core features that make this browser so unique. First up, deep action and automation. Felu can interact with websites the way you would, logging in, filling forms, scraping data, and even posting content. This is a huge leap forward compared to traditional co-pilots that only give you text answers. Next, deep search and reporting. Felu doesn't just stop at showing you search results. It actually pulls data from platforms like Reddit, Quora, LinkedIn, and even login protected spaces, then compiles that into a structured report with references you can verify. That's something Google Search or ChatGPT on its own can't really replicate. Another standout is agentic memory. The browser remembers your previous interactions, the context you were working on, and tasks you've already done. So instead of starting fresh every time, Falu feels like an assistant that actually learns and builds a working history with you. And then there's something they call shadow workspaces. Imagine you're running a big research task in the background. Falu can keep executing that while you browse normally in another workspace. It's seamless multitasking, something traditional browsers just aren't built for. What I also appreciate is transparency. Every action Falu takes is shown to you in steps. You can pause, edit, or approve before it executes, which gives you a sense of control instead of handing everything over to the AI blindly. Now, here's where things get even more interesting. On September 2nd, 2025, Falu launched its biggest upgrade yet, Falu CE, or Concept Edition. This is being called the world's first spatial agentic browser, and it's not just a buzzword. They're reimagining how we use browsers. Instead of flat tabs, Falu CE introduces a spatial workspace. Think of it like a 3D environment where each AI agent gets its own dedicated zone. So instead of juggling dozens of tabs in a line, you have a visually organized space where different agents are working on different tasks. It's almost like watching a team of assistants operating side by side. The performance is also impressive. In benchmark testing, Falu CE scored a 72% success rate on complex browser automation tasks. To put that into perspective, that's higher than both OpenAI, which scored 59%, and Manus, which hit 60%. For such a new player, that's pretty eye-opening. They've also introduced something called Sparks, which are essentially credits. Before executing any action, Fellow shows you how many sparks it will use, so you always know the cost up front. So should you try Felu? Here's my take. If you're someone who loves experimenting with the newest AI tools and you want a glimpse into what the future of browsing could look like, Felu is definitely worth a spin. The automation, the spatial design, the memory. It feels like the early version of something truly groundbreaking. But if security is your top priority and you're worried about data safety, it's okay to hold back. You can wait for more independent audits, more community testing, and maybe a few more updates to iron out the rough edges. Bottom line, Felu AI is a cutting-edge, agentic browser that goes beyond browsing. It does.
Its latest CE version adds spatial UI and improved automation, signaling a bold vision for human-AI collaboration. If you're curious to try it, just proceed with caution. Use sandboxed setups, avoid life-critical credentials, and keep an eye on how the broader community and security audits evolve. Either way, one thing's clear. Felu represents a bold step forward into the agentic era of AI. We're moving from AI that simply answers questions to AI that actually takes action on our behalf. And whether Felu ends up being the one that leads the way or not, this is the future of browsing. Now I want to hear from you. Would you trust an AI browser to log in, collect data, and automate tasks for you? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. I'll be reading every single one. If you enjoyed this deep dive and want to stay ahead of the curve on the latest AI tools, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to AI Ledger X, and ring the bell so you don't miss future videos. Thanks for watching, and as always, this is AI Ledger X, decoding the future of AI, one tool at a time.